Soup is a perfect thing to make on those cool winter days. So today what I'm going to make for you is I'm going to make a nice spiced vegetable soup using some of our torn turkey breasts from Green Farm Foods. Now I suppose when people are thinking about soup, they kind of think all the different basic um, ingredients. What we're going to use today is we're going to use the ingredients that people are familiar with in terms of we've got some carrots, we've got some leeks, some celery and some onion. But also what I'm going to do, which will add a nice impact to our soup, I'm going to use some sweet potato and some butternut squash, as well as using a little bit of ginger, which will just give us that really nice undertone, which will match perfectly with our torn turkey breast. Now, very, very simple to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat my pan here. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to that. You can use a little bit of oil or butter. Now, people, when they're making soup, sometimes think that if they fill the pot with vegetables and fill it with water and boil it up, they kind of have soup. I would suggest that it's much more advantageous to actually just saute off your vegetables first and foremostly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my vegetables to the saucepan there. So as I said, some carrots, some sweet potatoes, our leeks, our onion, our celery. So all of those nice vegetables that you would have at home. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little bit of butternut squash. And what that does is it just gives us this really nice color to the soup. So you can just hear that little sizzle starting up straight away. Add in our onions there with our garlic and our ginger. And if you felt a little bit more daring with this, you could add a little bit of chili, okay? A little bit of red chili would work really, really nicely. So just once all of your ingredients are in there, just take a spoon and just stir those. So don't add any moisture or any liquid in there at the minute, okay? Just allow those to saute up for a moment or two. Things like your celery, your leeks and your onions will begin to soften down, whereas your carrots, your chunks of butternut squash and your sweet potato will just get that nice roasted flavour, which will work perfectly with the lovely caramelised roasted undertones of our turkey breast a little bit later on. Now, so whilst that's happening, we'll just clear down a little bit here. And then what I've got in terms of liquid, I've just got some stock, okay? I'm using some vegetable stock here today. And also I've got a little bit of cream if you want to be a little bit indulgent. Now, if the cream isn't your fancy, you might decide to put in a little bit of yogurt or creme fraiche into it. But just a small little bit of cream will just suit you nicely. So you can just see there with our vegetables, they're just softening nicely. And even though it's just for a moment or two, you can just see here our little chunks of butternut squash are starting to get that kind of roasted feel. And it will be worthwhile for the soup at a later stage. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a little bit of cream. So just about three fluid ounces of cream. And adding the cream at this stage will just help you to get a nice flavour to the soup, but without you getting um, the creamy taste afterwards. Then we're going to pop in our stock. I'm going to add in about two thirds of the stock now and just give that a little stir around. At this stage, you may or may not have noticed that I haven't added in any salt or pepper. Putting it in now, just as it comes to the boil, and then we're going to allow that mixture to come to the boil. So just a small amount of salt and pepper, because again, you're relying on the caramelized flavor of the turkey at a later stage, and also that lovely flavor of the ginger to shine through. Okay, smells delicious. So we're just going to allow that to come to the boil. And once you kind of just let it come to the boil, just reduce the heat then to a gentle simmer for about 15 to 18 minutes, okay? Just until your vegetables have just kind of become tender. All right? Now, what I've done is I've just have this mixture started um, a little bit earlier on for you. So this has been boiling now for about 15, 18 minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap these around and I'm going to just blitz that for you. Now, you can either use your immersion stick blender or you can use a food processor to blitz this and just blitz it until it's completely, completely smooth. Now, so that's our soup perfectly blitzed there. It's essential when you're doing a blitz or a pureed soup to make sure that it is actually pureed so that you don't have any little lumps at the bottom of that. Now, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just take some of my torn turkey breast. This is from Green Farm Foods in Rathone in County Westmeath. And I suppose the beauty of this, um, by adding it to the soup, is we've gone to the effort of making a really nice, naturally flavoured soup that we're adding this torn turkey breast, which is 100% natural product. As I said to you earlier on, we've got the caramelised flavour of that. So you can just see that this is torn for your flavour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just half of this, okay? So we're going to use about three ounces in there so far and we're going to just mix that into our soup and allow that to just warm through and it literally because it's in tiny little pieces like that it'll warm through in just a second for you what I'm going to do is I'm going to retain the remaining torn turkey to use as a little garnish for the top now so just allow that to just come back up to the boil 
and you might at this stage decide to sneak a wee little taste for yourself. Oh, that's really delicious. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to serve up then. So we'll just clear a little space here for ourselves. So what I've got is, instead of using big bowls today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest you to serve a nice cup of soup. We have this whole notion of a cup of soup as being kind of a nice warming option. So I've just got some nice cups here and I'm going to just present up some of our soup. Look at those lovely chunks of uh, torn turkey in there. So just pop that into our cup. This is a great lunchtime option. You could serve it as a starter, but it's perfect if you kind of just come in in the kind of the cool winter evenings. Literally 20 minutes later, you're kind of sitting down to a really nice bowl of soup. And then with the remaining turkey, I'm just going to divide the remaining turkey between the top of our soup. Just stick a little bit on the top like that, and it just makes a nice attractive garnish that people maybe wouldn't be expecting. And then what I've got is I've just got the tiniest little sprig of thyme or fresh parsley and just garnish that across the top just like so and just to serve that then with a little bit of your home baked brown bread. You've got a perfect warming option from your Green Farm Foods torn turkey breast.